Hello beautiful people. Today we will be talking about many of the Webb Telescope's greatest discoveries. In this video you might learn things you never thought about. Around the turn, of the 21st century, a new age of galactic discovery began. Through the latest telescopes, on land and in space, astronomers started spotting a wealth of planets, outside our solar system, called exoplanets. In our Milky Way galaxy, scientists have confirmed over 4,480 exoplanets, with thousands of more candidates. Some are likely rocky worlds. Many are part of a class, of planets dubbed super-Earths, orbs twice to ten times, as massive as our balmy blue world. Others are gas giants, like the imposing Jupiter. There could be well over a trillion exoplanets, in our galaxy alone. But we know, vanishingly little about them. We've only been able, to barely scratch the surface, explained Nestor Espinoza, an exoplanet researcher, at the Space Telescope Science Institute, which runs the research of James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST. The eagerly anticipated, telescope will capture, unprecedented images, of some of the, deepest realms of space, where the earliest galaxies formed. But the powerful space instrument, will also devote considerable time, a full quarter of its first year and likely more time after that, to peering at exoplanets here in the Milky Way. 1. Seeing the unseeable. Some of the most common exoplanets, are super-Earths. The exoplanet Kepler-186f, for example, is a little larger than Earth, and orbits its star in a region, where liquid water can exist, called the habitable zone. But planetary scientists, consider other super-Earths to be, merciless places, like K2-131b, which orbits so close, to its star that it can vaporize metal. Astronomers have found over, 1,500 of these diverse super-Earths, so far. But they remain mysterious. Are any of them remotely like Earth? We don't even know, if they have atmospheres. Webb will enable us, to make these detections, explained Espinoza. We'll see if any of these planets, contain carbon dioxide and water-like Earths. It's huge, he said. Webb will peer, at known exoplanets, as opposed to using precious, telescope time sleuthing out new ones. Most were discovered by, the profoundly productive, planet-hunting telescope Kepler, which stared intently at stars, in small windows of space, for nearly a decade, looking for dips, in their brightness. Those dips were often caused, by planets passing in front of their stars. Even for the mighty JWST, with a gold-tinted mirror, over 21 feet wide, these distant super-Earths, will appear as dots. But the telescope, can still learn a huge amount, about these worlds' atmospheres. Astronomers will employ, a clever tactic to see the unseeable. They'll wait for planets, to travel in front of their bright stars. This starlight passes through the exoplanet's atmosphere, then through space, and ultimately into instruments, called spectrographs aboard JWST, a strategy called Webb, will enable us to make these detections. They're essentially high-tech prisms, which separate the light, into a rainbow of colors. Is there life out there? Webb will tell us, if our solar system is strange, or normal. Alternatively, it might just tell us, whether or not there is a normal. Questions abound. What are most solar systems like? Is a planet like Earth, a place teeming with water, and orbiting in a relatively pleasant habitable zone, rare? Do our gas giants, like Jupiter and Saturn, have atmospheres similar to other such behemoths? Webb will, for the first time, allow us to put our solar system in context, said Lopez Morales. But it won't tell us, if a planet hosts life. A world may have all the right ingredients, but identifying life is well beyond, the capabilities of even the most powerful, space telescope ever built. But, crucially, Webb's observations will point, exoplanet scientists in the right direction. It takes us to the next level, said Lopez Morales. A planet with, elements and conditions somewhat similar, to Earth would be scientific gold. Such a world would immediately become a high-priority candidate for further investigation, she said. Even more advanced future telescopes, potentially launched into space, in the 2030s and designed to better probe Earth, like exoplanets, could then pursue Webb's promising leads. Though, importantly, as humanity seeks the potential, for life in exoplanets located, in balmy regions of solar systems, we may inherently, ignore other places where life could blossom. In our home solar system, scientists are excited about the prospects, of life forms flourishing in, suspected, salty seas on Jupiter's distant moon Europa. Saturn's moon Enceladus, too, may host an ocean under a shell of ice. 
It takes us to the next level, noted Jason Stefan, an assistant professor of physics at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, who researches exoplanets. Focusing on regions where a world like Earth might exist could give us blinders. Still, JWST will give humanity an unprecedented picture, though not literally, of what's out there, orbiting other stars in the galaxy. Who knows what we'll find. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll meet you in the next one till then goodbye.